Hello, this is a screencast for the Unit Test List Editor. The specific websites that are tested by our application Uniprobe are included in public community created lists, which we usually refer to as test lists. Uh, there are two types of test lists the global list, and it includes internationally relevant websites, and there are country specific lists, which include websites that are relevant to some specific countries. Both types of lists can be edited either through the Citizen Labs GitHub repository or through the Unitest Lists Editor, which we demonstrate in this video. The Test Lists Editor is a web platform through which you can review and contribute to lists of websites tested for censorship. You can use the Test Lists Editor to add URLs, edit existing entries, and propose the removal of entries. So the first step to access the test list editor would be going to https.testlist.oni.org. Uh, please add your email in the email slot here. Keep in mind that we do not store email addresses. So we only need your email address to send you a link to access the service. Uh, now you will receive the email. Once you click the link, you will be locked into the platform. Here you can select one of the test lists through the drop-down menu. As mentioned earlier, there is a global list and country-specific test lists. For example, let's choose the test list for Azerbaijan. As part of reviewing the test list, you can add websites, edit existing entries, and delete existing entries. Uh, to add a website to a test list, add the URL to the URL slot and please ensure that the URL is typed correctly because if it is mistyped, we probably will not test the intended website and this will potentially lead to inaccurate test results. So in our example, we added uh, news.us and it's uh, news media, so we categorize it as news. And if you want to add relevant context, uh, Please add it under Notes. Uh, the Notes section can be useful for describing the type of URL you've added, uh, particularly since the categories that we have in the drop-down menu are quite broad. So once you've added the URL and categorized it and uh, added Notes, please click Add, and then your addition will be saved and you can continue adding or editing many more websites. There is no limit on the number of edits or entries you can add. So just once you are done making changes, click Submit, and your changes will be proposed to the test list. Once the contribution is submitted through the test list editor, it automatically ends up as a pull request on GitHub. So for example, you can see my contribution here. Contributions are peer-reviewed by Citizen Lab, Uni, Sensor Planet, and Neutralitica. Once the pull request is reviewed and merged, the contributions are integrated into test lists and automatically prioritized for Uniprobe testing. Sometimes uh, the reviewers may provide feedback through the comments section of your GitHub pull request. In this case, you can answer them directly in the comments section or if you are not registered on GitHub, you can simply send us an email to contact at openobservatory.org. And please add a reference to your GitHub contribution, for example, just a link leading to this contribution. Um, you can edit existing test list entries to update the URL, update the category, or add notes. Um, for example, if a domain has changed, uh, you can replace the URL with new URL with new domain. And uh, if you think a website is wrongly categorized, you can change the category to a new one. And if you want to share relevant contextual information that, for example, the content of the website uh, has changed or um, something happened to this website, like it was blocked, uh, you can add it to the notes section. And to enable third-party review of your changes, uh, please briefly explain why you are making these changes in the comment section. The comment section will be published 
only within your GitHub pull request, but it won't be saved as part of the updated test list. So if you want the same inf information to appear on the test list, please add it to the notes field. Once you've completed your edits, please click done and then click submit. Now your proposed edits, along with any other changes you've made, uh, will appear at the beginning of the test list editor and uh, will be submitted for review. If there is a website that is no longer available, for example, if it has an expired domain or a website that is not relevant to the specific country, you can propose the deletion of this website from the test list. To delete test list entry, click the delete icon in the row of the entry and please explain why would you like to propose the deletion of the URL. For example, type in the notes a website no longer exists or website is no longer relevant and click delete to propose the deletion of that URL. Your proposed deletion, along with any other changes that you've suggested before, will appear at the beginning of the test list editor interface. When you are done making changes, uh, please click Submit and propose your changes for the review. If you add any more updates to any of the test lists before your existing pull request on GitHub is merged, the test list editor will automatically close the older pull request and create a new one with all old and new entries that you have suggested. Once the pull request is merged by the reviewers, the list of edited entries will disappear from the beginning of the test list editor interface and all new changes will be included in the test list or test list if you edited multiple of them. Uh, that was a short introduction to the UNI test list editor. If you are interested in updating the test list, please also read the guidelines created by our amazing partner Netalytica and please get familiar with our documentation on contributing to the test lists. Uh, links to both are included in the description of this video, please find them. And thank you for watching this screencast. If you have any questions, uh, please share them in comments or through our Slack channel and we'll be happy to answer them.